How do you wish to die? I hope it's like getting general anesthesia. Had it twice, and it's just so relaxing and sudden going down. First your worries go, to the point you can get the giggles for just a second, the it hits and everything goes warm and white. Just hope I don't wake up in the next life with a catheter in and a diaper on again, tt. Yeah to be honest, having had GA, I would never actually have known if I didn't wake up. I was mentally prepared for something going wrong just in case to the extent that it would have been a pretty chill way to go. Not particularly exciting too. Oh yeah I've had surgeries a few times now, and it would definitely be my top way to go. It has actually also impacted how I see animals being put down, not that I was opposed to euthanasia before. Think it's the most merciful way to go, no pain, no awareness, just drifting off to sleep. Having a drink with my friends on our old day. Enjoying my drink in the sun. When suddenly, a knight on a horse is riding towards me and beheads me with one slash. What a story for my grandkids to tell at school. I got you dude. Places fist on chest you were a great king. Always do it for the kids. In my sleep. I don't want pain. I feel this. I hate the feeling that death is inevitable. I hate that I'll probably, statistically, die with pain. Frown. I'm more afraid of the fear than the pain. I want to die knowing I'm okay with it, regardless of how it goes down. Back in 2016, I lost control of my car and flipped it upside down. Then, it slided for a good while. Sitting there, holding the wheel, I just kept thinking to myself this is it, this is my end, and I'm not okay, I'm lonely and miserable and didn't get to do what I wanted. Thankfully the car's path did have any obstacle so it stopped by itself, and besides some muscle pain that I had to endure a good 6 weeks, I was unscathed. Since then, I found my girlfriend, I have a daughter of 3 and a stepdaughter of 6 that I consider my daughter as well since her real father doesn't give a fuck. Soon, if all goes well, I'll buy my own house and move the gals out of my girlfriend's parents house. If that accident was to happen today, I'd be better about it. Not totally okay. I want to see my kids grow up and want to marry my girlfriend. But I wouldn't be totally miserable about it. I wish to be torn apart into atoms in the span of a second. Simply cease to exist as a human and revert back to my base elements. Hug a nuke. You would stop being biology and turn into particle physics in a few milliseconds. Go into a black hole I'm pretty sure what happens too. Technically your base atoms are still you due to the theory of information, where something's form can be destroyed but the information of its composition is still there I. If you turn a paper into ash, the information of it is still there edit, it's technically debatable whether I'm right or not but here's a might question for you, if we could turn a human into ash and somehow knew how to recompose it, would it still be that person? Or just a replica edit to, somewhere in the thread a guy wrote a rebuttal to what I'm saying, and I think it's best if you all go and find it so you can see another side to my claim. At a record age. He was the youngest guy to ever die of old age. Shutting my robot body off when I finally grow tired after billions of years. I've had it with this Adobe updater. I don't care much for the billions of years, but certainly I'd take only after I've decided I'm bored of living. The universe is far far bigger than my capacity to have an interest in what is in it, but I'd love to reach that limit instead of dying before I get there. Torn apart by sharks. With lasers. Frickin' lasers. Or at least ill-tempered sea bass. Fast and painlessly. Guillotine? 1000 pounds bomb. You disintegrate before you know what happens. I have seen enough family members die of cancer that I know two things, that's probably how I'll die, family history and all, and that's not how I want to die. Therefore I'll probably die by my own hand after a terminal cancer diagnosis. 
I just hope that's not for a while and I hope I have somewhat of a chance to do something meaningful I wouldn't normally do in that space when don't care about death and I actually die. Edit, this got more traction than I thought it would. Just to be clear, I'm middle-aged and healthy. I also realize that my genetic sound to death sentence, more like loaded dice. I actually view this end as a good scenario because it means that stupidity and other bad luck didn't get me first. It's also a good reminder to live my life because it isn't infinite. I truly appreciate all of the kind thoughts of strangers though. Here's hoping your genetics spare you man, it's awful to have people you know go through cancer. It's the reason I want to spend my life studying oncology, I can't stand how cancer rips lives apart move to a place with legal euthanasia. There was a guy in my neighborhood who had rabies and developed hydrophobia. Since there was no cure they forced him to a corner and used water cannons against him till he died. So pretty much any other way except this way. Edit, I live in India. Myth, 3 Americans every year die from rabies. Fact, 4 Americans every year die from rabies. What the fuck neighborhood do you live in? Not alone. I'm reminded of person of interest, everybody dies alone, and nobody is coming to save you. But if you mean something to someone, if you love someone, if even one person remembers you, then maybe you never really die at all. Your killer will be with you. Holding the hand of the person that I most value important, might it be my wife, best friend or others. Homie, it's time to go. Kiss his hand. Holding your own hand is okay too. Skydiving. When I open the chute a bunch of silverware comes out instead of a parachute. Like forks and knives. Epic prank. You'll have a bit of time to appreciate the humor. You hit the ground, but miraculously don't die instantly. You lay there paralyzed, thinking that it isn't actually over. And then 5 kilograms worth of forks and knives blacks out the sky like a Persian archer volley. Your body is penetrated at every inch too by utensils, and that is how you die. Cease to exist, like I have never been born. Sounds like standing next to an exploding nuclear bomb. Same. Preferably I would die watching an asteroid crashing into the earth. I feel like it would be both beautiful and profound. Ever see melancholia? If not then I think you'd love it. And it would be nice to know you aren't missing much of humanity if it all disappears the same time you do. I can tell you how I don't want to die, sitting on the toilet reading ready. Haha <laughs> that would be funny because I just do th ah. A massive poisonous spider crawls out of the bottom of the toilet and bites you. What a way to go. I want to be crushed by the thickest thighs imaginable. Reminds me of that scene from The Boys. But that could literally be thighs that have infinite diameter than some big thighs. Alone in a field of grass where I can see the blue sky with only the whistling of the wind that I can hear. That begs the question, what is your cause of death? Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.